Hello, how is it going? For all of you who are first time on this channel, my name is Slaven, director and founder of Cinemat Motion Picture. And today I'm gonna show you how to color grade our Alexa footage and match with the colors of Skyfall movie. So without further ado, let's get straight to the point. So this is our Alexa clip, I am gonna match with this similar scene from Skyfall movie. This is how it looks already color graded, of course we're gonna start from the scratch. Because I'm using three screens, for this purpose I'm gonna open the scopes so you can see what's going on. We can start to create a basic node in a two ways. First we can do it by adjusting our curve, play with the contrast, temperature, offset, saturation and create something similar to Rec. 709 where we can have a starting point. But as we all know, time is always important, so why not speed up the process by adding our Alexa Log C to Rec. 709 LUT and start from there. So I'm gonna create first three nodes and put our Alexa Log C to Rec. 709 on the third one. And here, as you can see, we've got quite nice starting point. Since the video is meant to go on YouTube, Rec. 709 instead of Rec. 2020 will be enough. And it's always good practice to name your nodes. So this is lot. The first one is gonna be our balance node. And the second is gonna be our primaries. Later through the grading process, I'm gonna add additional nodes. But let's start with the balance. First I'm gonna start with the temperature. Because our Skyfall clip is much warmer. I think for the start this will be enough. Where we can always come back and adjust more. Also, we need to add a little bit more shadow. Let's fast check the original footage. Yeah, we need more shadow. For the process of color grading, I will always go back and forth to check with the original clip so I can match as close as possible to the original one. As you can see, the skin line in a Sky 4 clip is a little bit off. But obviously this is the way they chose to be. And maybe it's the reflection of the screen. So let's isolate the face and we can double check. Yeah, it's the same. So obviously this is the way how they did it. And we're gonna match almost the same for the purpose of this tutorial. Ok, let's check how we did in the first note. I think it's quite nice for the start. Let's go to our primaries. First I'm gonna warm up the gain a bit. And also I'm gonna do the same with the gamma. Because our reference clip is much warmer. The key is always to do this in a small steps. And go back and forth to check with the reference clip. Obviously, these two clips are not the same. Light is on the opposite side, and the colors in the scene are not the same. But the beauty of color grading in DaVinci Resolve is the ability to make them as close as possible, even though they are completely different. In this new node, I'm gonna sharpen the image because it's a bit soft. The most important is not to over sharpen your image to look like a video, just increase a little bit to make your image pleasant. Probably you're not seeing the big difference because of YouTube compression and the small screen. But believe me, it's quite enough. Ok, let's name our node and go on another one. In this node I'm gonna put only saturation so I can control it independently. Somewhere around 54, I think it'll be enough. Fast check with the reference. Yeah, we are getting there, but there are still more work to be done. And here I'm gonna create three parallel nodes. In the first one, I'm gonna put the power window on a talent's face and match the color and light from the reference. And first, I'm gonna add some gain. And let's slightly adjust the power window. I think it should be a little bit more narrow. And maybe more highlight. Let's check the difference. Yeah. So let's soften a bit to look more natural. Let me check with the reference. Yeah, her face is a little bit more dark and the color is also more on the green side. So what we need to do is to add just slightly more shadow in the face. Then I'm gonna adjust the gamma and put a little bit green to match the reference. So let's check back. Look at the skin tone line. We are now even more closer. I don't know why they decided to go the green with the face, but like I mentioned before, probably they wanted to make it more realistic because of the reflection from the screen. Here I'm gonna add a little bit more gain. Yeah. 
No, it's much more similar. And maybe just slightly cool down the gain. And now I'm gonna bring more highlight. Yeah, it seems nice. Or maybe just a little bit less. I should put down the saturation. Because on the reference, the face is much more greenish and less saturated. In fact, I'm gonna increase the highlights. And then I'm gonna show you what we can do with the new tool HDR in DaVinci Resolve 17. It's not meant to be for HDR only. You can also use it for SDR, like I'm doing right now. And in that way, you can soften your highlights to look really nice and natural. Look at before and after. It seems like completely different lightning. And one more check with the reference. And to me, the face is still not there. So let's make more additional adjustments. Or I'm gonna adjust the offset a little bit more, because on the reference, the skin tone line is more on a green-yellow side. Also, I'm gonna adjust the curve to get pop in the face. But you can also do it with some different tool. It's all about creativity and personal preference. Also, I'm gonna decrease the saturation even more to match the reference. Look at the difference from the beginning with just this node. What I'm gonna do next? I'm gonna lift the gamma a bit and soften the shadow on the left side of the face and slightly cool down again to make highlights less saturated and more similar to the reference clip. Ok, for now it seems fine. Let's move on to the second parallel node. Here I'm gonna add another power window to add some details in the shadow area. Then I'm gonna lift up the gain to emphasize the highlights. The idea is not to overdo this, just to make it barely visible. Ok, I think that would be fine. Let's see what we've done here before and after. It looks much more better, isn't it? Maybe some angle adjustment and check with the reference. Maybe I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Yes, that's it. That would be fine. Let's move on. Okay, in a third parallel node, I'm gonna create another power window. The idea is to brighten the right portion of the scene and mimic similar lighting just as it's on the reference clip. So I'm gonna lift up the gain. Not too much. And warm up the highlights. To look as close as possible, like on this one. Of course it can't be 100% the same, because of different scene and lightning, but we can bring it to look very similar. During the color grading, good practice is to enable and disable the node you are working on, so you can notice the difference you've made already. And I think I need to warm up the highlight just a little bit more. Ok, let's check back with the reference. Yeah, now I'm gonna lift up the gain just slightly and soft that power window a bit and to avoid harsh cut-offs. And one more, quick jump back to check that out. I think we are fine. Let's move on to another node. And in this one, I'm gonna create a shadow in this area. And for this purpose, gradient power window will be best choice. Let's drop the gamma down. Make some more corrections. Let's check the difference. And with the curve, I'm gonna soften the shadow a bit, not to look that harsh. Yeah, to me, it seems much better now. And very similar to the actual scene. And next I'm gonna do is cool down the shadows. Because on a reference, the shadows are not that saturated. And just a small adjustment on a curve to soften the mid-range. Also, I noticed that the face of the talent is still much more saturated than the one on the reference clip, so I need to go back to the previous node and make some additional corrections. So I'm gonna cool down the gamma and bring some brightness back. And I also desaturated the face. So let's check the skin tone line. Look how that becomes similar. Ok, let's make one more parallel node. And in this one, I'm gonna add glow effect. In a sky fall clip, there isn't any glow effect. By this shot, I'm gonna use it, because I like it, and to me it'll complement the scene perfectly. 
So if you're inspired by the color of some film and trying to do the same in your work, you don't need to do exactly the same. You can always introduce some different detail if you think that will better fit your story. I'm gonna reduce the threshold and also the brightness and I'm gonna leave only slightly amount of glow effect. You can think it's barely visible. But like I mentioned before, those small details in color grading make perfection. Last I'm gonna do on this note, I'm gonna use HDR, soften the light and make highlights on the skin perfect. And this is before and after. So let's create another serial node. And in this one I'm gonna create a custom curve power window. And the purpose of this is to create shadow in a lower part of the scene. Exactly similar, like on a reference clip. Then like always I'm gonna soften the edges to avoid any visible destruction for the power window. I'm not touching lift only gamma to make this soft shadow from the mid range. And with a curve I'm softening the darkest point. As you can notice it's only small difference but in the same time important because the overall result I mentioned before. Since these two shots are quite different, in my opinion, now they match pretty well. Look at before and after, what we got from this log footage. Ok, and there's still one more final thing, the last node. We need to soften this light and match the one from the reference. So I'm gonna add another serial node. Then I'm gonna use qualifier and select only these two lumps and make some adjustment to isolate our source of the light and make our key perfect. Ok, that's fine, let's put some denoise and we're ready to go. First I'm gonna lower the gain. And we need to lower the gamma too. Color grading is most of the time push and pull technique, so you can always go back and make some additional adjustments. Let's check before and after. Yeah, almost there, only I'm gonna reduce saturation just a bit. Ok, let's make a final check. So what you think, let me know in the comment section below, and let's see this in the full screen. So thanks for your time to watch this tutorial, subscribe if you like it and click the bell and see you in the next one.